These are not scenes that modern Germany is used to seeing. A memorial service for a young Bundeswehr soldier killed in Afghanistan. He was the victim of an Islamist Taliban attack. With each military death, the operation is becoming more difficult for the German government to control. Unfortunately, we have come to realize that the security situation in our area of operations has become more critical. Therefore, our soldiers have to not only protect, aid and negotiate, but they also have to conduct combat operations. Combat is a word the German government has previously made a conscious effort to avoid using. This was a high-profile visit by the defense minister with Bundeswehr troops in Kunduz. The German commitment in Afghanistan has been described as everything but a combat operation, but soldiers say that's exactly what it's becoming. If you do not prepare yourself for this beforehand, you are going to have a lot of problems. In my opinion, this is a war. This is war, when you see the cars that are being blown up and the bullet holes in the vehicles. I think the word war is wrong, but it is correct that the entire spectrum of military and civil military responsibilities are a part of this mission. But that's not a clear mission statement, even though the situation has become more critical in Afghanistan. The Taliban is now targeting the Bundeswehr, well aware that German soldiers did not come to fight. But the German government has avoided saying that to the public at home. That is, of course, partially because you don't want to unsettle the public. That's why the situation is not presented the way it really is, namely dangerous. This is a military operation, where the lives and welfare of the soldiers are being put at risk. It's not just drilling wells and building bridges. But the operation has not been sold that way to the German public. So far, protests against the operation in Afghanistan have been small. But with the German death toll rising, the impression is growing that this reconstruction mission, designed to bring stability to Afghanistan, is much more costly than anyone expected. When you see there are constant losses in Afghanistan, then of course this is something that affects every German. You don't want to hear that German troops are being targeted. I prefer they withdraw. The Afghans should be able to manage on their own. I think we shouldn't have sent our soldiers there, but it can't be changed, and we can't really withdraw anymore. It's a mood the radical opposition left party is taking advantage of. It's nothing other than war, which always has civilian casualties, and now some 30 German soldiers are dead in Afghanistan alone. This cannot be continued. Things are going wrong in every way in what we're doing there. I think it is tasteless to politicize the civilian victims and the fallen German soldiers in an effort to criticize the operation in Afghanistan. But these attitudes reflect the current mood of German parliamentarians in Berlin. Even supporters of the operation now admit they underestimated the scale of the mission. Some are now calling for a general debate on the goals of the operation before the mission's mandate is extended. It starts with the fact that the international community doesn't have a clear, unified, strategic goal. There's no consensus of what the top priority in Afghanistan is. Right now there are two. Fighting terrorism is one priority and aiding in state building is another priority. And you can't really have two things together like that. They contradict each other. Competing strategies have meant combat operations have been carried out by other NATO countries and not by the Germans. That's a situation that's no longer tenable. But critics say the German public is not prepared and the Bundeswehr is not equipped for combat operations. 
First, there needs to be an information campaign from the government explaining this to the public and seeking the public's approval. Secondly, the most modern equipment available needs to be sent to the area of operations as quickly as possible. And thirdly, there need to be clear rules of engagement, appropriate to the conditions on the ground. Each funeral increases the pressure on the German government. But the politicians are biding their time, and that's leaving German soldiers in Afghanistan in the lurch. The recent spate of attacks against Bundeswehr troops are dragging the Germans into the fight.